Okay. Um, I wanted to talk for a moment. I'm Shockpaw, and we all know my loving mate, Ioka. And uh, my two lovely children, Squishy and Alex. Um, recently, I was scammed by a supposed furry suit maker uh, early, early in their development. And I made a video on that. Go check it out. You get the whole story. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm recovering from a cold. But, um, I wanted to talk for a moment, because about an hour ago, I got a message from PayPal. And, um, I had requested a reverse on payments forward to said fursuit maker and it turns out that they were not a suit maker at all they had put up all kinds of like little um, hidden features so that they could trick people into paying them a sum of money in order to just scam them out and that's what happened to me <laughs> um, but I wasn't planning to do a, a video today. It was kind of nice. So this is my first thoughts. I sent a request to PayPal weeks ago and asked them to please reverse the payment in the hopes that I get the money back. And I was ready to completely uh, follow suit and uh, fight for my money because it's my money. <clears throat> I'm a kind of guy that lives paycheck to paycheck. I scrimp, I save, and uh, I make commissions. That's my bread and butter. And what's crazy about that is you think about it. You look at the beautiful computer behind me or something like that. This came from years of saving. I'm an artist. I needed something to keep up with me. You ever tried doing a painting on an older system? You do one line across the page on a Wacom tablet. And then you have to wait two minutes for the paint to actually move across the screen. We're all artists out there. You know exactly what I'm talking about. In this day and age, it's fundamental and fantastic because technology is actually catching up with us. But, um, what I wanted to talk about, um, <coughs> damn, I've had this cold two weeks, I've gotten rid of it, all I got left is a stupid cough. <coughs> I do apologize. Um, but I got a contact from, from them this morning. And, um, they very cut and dry and no, no added information on top of the fact of we refunded your money for our efforts. We're going to take $30. Oh, hell, that's great. That's a whole paycheck back to me. No, in this day and age, with the inflation, that's two paychecks. <coughs> so you look at it. I'm paying out... Trying to pay 500 for a fursuit. And I was so looking forward to... Um, something special like that. Because I wanted to share it with my daughter. I wanted her to have that partial suit. Now, don't get me wrong, it still hurts. 
It still hurts that someone tried to pull that. But what is good about it is now that I have that money back that can go back into rent or a gas tank, food on the table. Hell, I've been eating ramen for three weeks already, and that's through Thanksgiving break. Um, I don't know if this was because the person that took my money actually had a soul and said, you know what, here you go. I'm not just going to say anything, just take it. It was your money. I would like a little more information. A letter, maybe, would be nice. A little note from PayPal, if it came from PayPal saying, we found the description, we fixed it for you, here's your money. That would be very, very cut and dry. I would like that. Now, if it was from the person that took the money from me, and basically a contact saying, look, we're all uh, suffering here, and I'm sorry I scammed you, please take your money back, something like that, that would be nice. In the community, there are lots of artists out there. I'm one of them. I work on art all the time. This beautiful wolf character from behind me is uh, from um, Clockbirds. Beautiful artwork. Fantastic stuff. Um, I think you can find them on Demeter and for Affinity. <clears throat> and, uh, I'm just, it's a major relief off my chest, knowing that I have got nearly all the money back that I tried to invest in this, in this little project. So, let's look at it this way. Word to the wise. If you're a young furry out there, you're looking to get your suit. Always triple check your sources. Make visual contact with them by calling them. Or if you know them personally, sit down and talk with them. Um, set up communication, payment plan, and all that. So in the eventuality that you do decide to get a suit, it won't be such a hard hit for you and plan it out. I'm just glad I got two weeks of paychecks back. It's a godsend. It's the first thing that's happened that's gone right for me in a while. I mean, everything was going to, going to hell in a handbasket for me. I had, <coughs> I had um, being overworked at work, uh, kids going nuts and left and right of me, family just disintegrating around me. All of that. That doesn't matter right now. The subject of the matter is PayPal actually got on the ball. Now, they first sent me a, a letter saying that um, my request was denied. I thought I had completely lost the money. Gone. Never to be seen again. I turn around. And a few weeks later, I get a new one, message from them saying, here, we uh, reconsidered, here you go. There's your money back. Now, they kept the $30. I'm okay with that. Almost every business, when they go out of their way to help someone, has to take a little bit out of pocket. 
That's pretty much the way it is in the world. It's a cutthroat industry. Every time you turn around, something's going on. But the point is, I got my refund, and now I can put it to use where it needs to be put. Rent. <laughs> I'm Shock Paw. And thank you for listening, even just for a minute. Have a great day.